The deadline to file your taxes is quickly approaching. Kenya Ross shares how you can keep criminals from stealing your information or money. Kenya? Yes, LaShawna, the last day to file federal taxes is Monday. Some of your tax returns may come with a refund. Here's what you need to watch out for to keep your refund inside your pockets or to keep your client's information safe if you're a tax professional. It's just like finishing up homework on the weekend when you were in school. Many people are going to use the next few days to collect W-2 forms, earning statements, or any tax deductible expense reports to submit those returns by Monday. According to an April 2024 report from the Pew Research Center, 150.6 million individual federal income tax returns were filed electronically in 2022. Some attackers may attempt to steal software preparation credentials from tax professionals and steal their clients' data. It's called spear phishing, which is listed as one of the IRS scams by Capital One Bank. Attackers do this by email to use stolen information to file a fraudulent tax return on the client's behalf and ultimately steal their tax refund. An Excel sheet from the IRS shows it issued more than 3 million refunds in Louisiana in the 2022 fiscal year. According to the Security Center from Chase Bank, they warn consumers to be extra careful of friends or family members calling suddenly and needing help. Scammers use artificial intelligence to clone voices, impersonating people. This could lead to you answering your phone and thinking it's a relative or friend asking for a large amount of money. Information from the Security Center also writes that scammers are creative storytellers over the phone. It says never trust the government, a utility company, or law enforcement that contacts you out of the blue. Earlier this year, the Caldwell Parish Sheriff's Office announced a phone scam was circulating the parish identifying themselves as a captain or major from one of the sheriff's offices in the state. They describe the scam as the caller telling the person who's answering they have missed jury duty and owe a substantial cash fine to avoid arrest. The sheriff's office said they never ask anyone over the phone to pay in cash by credit or debit card using a kiosk for the transaction. You can protect yourself by hanging up and finding a number for the agency yourself on their website and calling them directly. And according to the Louisiana Department of Revenue, state tax returns and payments are due May 15th. LaShonda.